Hi there, welcome to How to D&D. My name's Frederick Wheeler and today I'm going to talk to you, well no I'm not going to talk to you, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom Dungeons and Dragons DM dice or Dungeon Master dice. Now I saw quite a long time ago a video on the channel called A Fistful of Dice. He does some very good videos, I've always enjoyed them, um, but he showed us a whole lot of sort of improvising dice, things that could uh, be used like a random chart or, um, yeah, but you roll dice instead. You can buy them from the rpgshop.com, or the RPG shop. Now I had a look at the prices and then I looked at the translation from their prices in American dollars to New Zealand dollars and God they're expensive. So suck, that's not going to happen. I ain't doing that. Uh, instead I'm going to show you how to make your own dice with blank dice and a sharpie marker. Yeah! You are going to need the following items. You'll need some very large blank dice. You can purchase large blank dice from game stores. You can also get them from uh, toy stores. And you can also buy large blank dice online. You will need one black permanent sharpie pen. It's important that the permanent marker has a very small tip. You're going to need to write very, very small and, uh, and it needs to be a fine tip to actually work properly. You're also going to need some baking grease proof paper. And that's primarily so that things don't bleed all over the table. Make sure your dice are nice and big because you're going to be writing on these. So the bigger they are, the easier it is going to be. If they're small, it's very hard to write on small dice. So I'm going to show you how to make a whole bunch of different random dice. One for the weather, one for traps, one for NPC or non-player character races, one for rolling up random monster encounters, and one for treasure. Okay, so let's open this up. Get rid of that. And let's get our first dice out. Greaseproof paper, let's put that down. You want the shiny side up, that is so that it doesn't bleed and pretty much make a mess of your table. We have one dice. And my first task, what I've done is I've made like a, a small chart on a piece of paper, roughly what I need. So I want sunny, cloudy, storm, rainy, windy and hailing. So I have to write that onto my dice. Now the smaller the word is, the easier it is to do. If it's a longer word, try to write diagonally across the side of the dice. Okay, that is my weather dice done. I have hailing on it. I'm going to put it aside. It's still drying. I don't really want to smudge any of the bits, so I'll put it off to the side. I had a lot of trouble actually marking onto the dice. It's very, very glossy. So when I used my marker, I actually found I had to sort of rub my marker over the dice a couple of times before the actual line would appear. I don't use traps very often, but I've always wanted to have a dice I could roll to determine randomly what sort of traps might show up, or they might come across. So, let's try that now. The next dice that I want is one on races. So, here is my dice, and I will start off with human. I'm turning the dice so that my fingers aren't on the wet ink, so make sure you do the same and uh, avoid sort of touching where you've actually written down anything. Uh, this is where it gets tricky. Halfling is actually quite a long word to squeeze onto a side like that. The next dice that I want to generate for my Dungeon Master collection is one for treasure. How many times have I needed something to sort of randomly throw up for treasure? I'm going to keep it nice and simple, so values and so forth I'll have to figure out as I go.
the next dice I want to make is something for random monsters. Random encounters are always fun, but um, determining them, I'm going to use dice. Okay, that is my monster dice. Now you can put anything you like on these. You can actually sort of theme them too. Maybe you want one dice to only have humanoids. Uh, maybe you want another dice for undead, which I could do right now. Okay, I've finished all my dice. They're dry. I can now use them and handle them. They're not smudging. So, if I have to roll up something to do with the weather, I can just simply grab this dice and roll it. And the weather, it's windy. Or it's a cloudy day. So that's pretty good. Now, that's only a six-sided dice, but you, you're saying, okay, but I can only have six things on a six-sided dice. What if I want to have eight things, or twelve things, or twenty things? There is no reason why you can't make up a weather dice and have two. And simply put the different types of weather you want on two separate dice and select one of those dice and roll them. So that's that one done. Uh, I made a monster dice, so I can roll up and they come across a troll, and I have a random encounter for a troll, or I roll up and there's an ogre, or I can say, okay, there's two ogres because maybe they're second level or third level, and I think they can figure um, figure out and, and deal with that threat. So that's what I can do. And uh, what else we got here? We have a treasure dice. So maybe they loot the body of the ogre, and what do they find on the body? They find a potion, and I decide it's a potion of healing. Or maybe they loot the uh, goblin, and they find that there is a pouch full of silver coins, and I can roll a 20-sided dice and determine how many silver coins are in there. So that's quite cool, and then if I want to roll up, say, an NPC, and I'm having trouble figuring it out on the fly, I just roll up my race dice, and I've got a halfling. This character, NPC, is a halfling, uh, runs the tavern, or maybe they come across a blacksmith, and that blacksmith is a half-elf. And so that's good. And what about traps? So they're picking the lock, and a trap goes off. What sort of trap is it? Well, I'm going to figure that out on the fly. It's a blade trap, and blades come out of the door and slice them, and then I make them make a, some sort of dexterity saving throw. Or maybe they are wandering through a passageway and a net drops down on them. It's a net trap. You can see, you get the point, you can make your own dice, uh, and they can do the things you would want to do. I still have four dice left here, and I will probably come up with something else. Um, I was thinking maybe uh, non-player character profession uh, for rolling up non-player character professions. Some more monster dice for random um, random encounters would be cool too. Um, I'm sure I'll think think of some other things. And um, yeah, and uh, I will probably present that in a later video. I had a look on the website, the RPG Shop. Dot com website. A lot of their dice are no longer in stock. You can't actually buy them. So it looks like you're going to have to make your own. Okay, that's everything I have on how to make your own Dungeon Master dice or custom Dungeon Master dice. Um, I will probably do another video uh, in a bit more detail and a bit more advanced and I will probably pull out a Dremel and we will cut into the dice and then we'll use some paint. Uh, but for now, uh, I hope that this video was helpful. This is really quick, short and dirty, uh, getting the job done as quickly as you possibly can. If you found it useful, uh, share, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make a comment below and tell me, have you used the RPG Shop dice? Uh, have you made your own dice before? What were they like? What did you use them for? That sort of stuff. Anything that might be useful around creating your own custom dice for a Dungeon Master. Until next time, keep rolling those 20s. Or in this case, your custom made D6.